In our first story, we introduce you to our H-Town hero, Meredith Eiler, who is helping to better the lives of our wounded heroes coming home from the battlefields of Iraq and Afghanistan by giving them new homes through helpingahero.org. 713 News was there when a home was given to a Houston area veteran. Today, we got to present our 26th house to Staff Sergeant Jeffrey Vaughn. He was injured in Iraq. He took an IED explosion and has a traumatic brain injury, as well as suffers from post-traumatic stress disorder. And he and his family have three children. This is amazing. But I really appreciate it, and thank you, Meredith. We are so excited to have the Vaughns here. Let me have a round of applause. Meredith Eiler formed HelpingAHero.org five years ago. Like this Lamarck home for the Vaughn family, Meredith, her team of volunteers and donors, make sure the Wounded Heroes home is just right for all their physical challenges, including making them handicap accessible. What's exciting about seeing that blossoming into a new citizen and giving back to the community is now they have the stability to rebuild their life and now can start looking past the injury of here's my future. Helpingahero.org also aids these wounded veterans in other areas of their lives so they can build a better future for themselves. In 1994, she was a congressional spouse in Nebraska and learned the challenges and sacrifices of active duty military members. I believe we as parents want to expose our children to the patriotism of America that we grew up with and we're losing in our culture and society today. So I believe that helping a hero enables us to, as parents, instill that patriotism in our kids and also say thank you in a tangible way to our service members who have sacrificed so much. Meredith says it can be difficult to find these wounded heroes because they often think of others before themselves. So if you know a veteran who was severely hurt during a recent conflict, or if you would like to donate to the all-volunteer helpingahero.org, please go to 713news.com for more information.